It's a blood test which stands for prostate-specific antigen. It detects a protein made by the prostate, which is a gland in the male reproductive system. A high PSA level may be an indicator that prostate cancer is present in the body. Dr. Brooke Edwards of Ohio's urology group told me the PSA is sometimes part of routine screening tests at your doctor's office, but not always. Unfortunately, over the last 10 years or so, we've seen that it um, is not necessarily commonplace or done routinely with family doctors. Some PCPs and internists are choosing not to do P uh, PSA testing every year. Um, and sometimes the patient doesn't realize that. They don't realize that it's not been done. It is a critical test, however, she says, to find prostate cancer early and to monitor it in those such as Steve Abbott. He's a 10-year prostate cancer survivor. When chemotherapy no longer seemed to be working against his cancer. I was told after my third treatment, this is not going to be, I mean, you're going to need to look at the next thing and soon. Steve turned to a newer medication which targets what's called PSMA. It did help bring his PSA numbers back down. PSMA is a chemical on the surface of over 90% of prostate cancer cells. So this becomes like a smart bomb. Steve's message now, be your own advocate for getting the PSA test. Um, I'm often seeing my patients yearly and they think that their family doctor has done it, but they just don't quite understand that that's not, that was not included in their cholesterol screening and their, in their regular blood um, testing. So it's important for patients to understand that um, they need to realize and, and go through what the doctor's ordering and having that conversation and asking about prostate cancer or PSA testing. Now, this newer Plavicto treatment is widely available for those who are appropriate candidates. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.